What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more massive attack. As well as a uh, very silly Luca. We'll see what she does as I try to very diplomatically. Are we good? We good? I think we're good. Uh, but yeah, we're going back for more Massive Attack from their 1991 album, Blue Lines. I think it's 91. If I'm getting that wrong, I will uh, correct myself in the video description. Uh, but the next tune is a sentiment that I think, at the very least, a lot of people pay lip service to. Um, in the moment, it can be harder to remember the sentiment at certain times when you're frustrated or feeling like the world may not be giving you your fair uh, shake, but yeah, be thankful for what you've got. Uh, I enjoy the phrase, um, again, philosophically and psycho-emotionally, meaning I support the idea of on some level, and obviously, you know, in certain situations this may be more difficult or be harder to see as an actual reality rather than just a sentiment, but um, the idea of trying to um, accept what you have and ultimately um, recognize that in all but the most extreme cases things could be worse or you could have less at your disposal and I don't just mean materially but other resources you know people family um, peace of mind um, some sort of um, mobility all these things could be more than other people have so um, yeah, like I said, without knowing anything more, just on the surface of it, I really enjoy the title of this track. Now, presumably this will be set within some narrative or some um, snapshot in time between people, so uh, I'll try to catch what I can, and again, shout out to Stefan for sending this and much else, and for the patience as I go through so many different deep dives and try to keep up with all sorts of stuff that people have sent, which, again, that's my struggle, that's my issue, but like I said, I do appreciate the patience, and again, uh, if those people um, who sent all the material, you know, are willing to uh, join me on the long haul, I will promise to get to everything, so, in any case, we go back here for more Massive Attack, uh, the tune is Be Thankful for What You've Got, and it's from the 1991, yeah, I think 1991 album, Blue Lines. Oh, you may not try, but we 
fade out endings. So again, my understanding of them or my my thoughts about them are more nuanced than they used to be where I always was like, you know, just they do a normal ending. I get it. In some cases I think it can be appropriate and I mentioned before longer fades I'm more okay with. This one was sort of middle range. It wasn't like a cliff drop off but it wasn't a super gradual one. Uh, but we were still getting vocal flourishes right as the sound was dropping. So uh, in that sense, I feel like, you know, wait one more measure till it's just kind of that instrumental outro and then fade it. But that small point aside, uh, I love it. It feels like it's very much in their wheelhouse. We get some like, I imagine like produced turntablism. Maybe they really have someone on a turntable who's like crabbing or something, but it feels like maybe more it's like sounds, you know, meant to like give that kind of DJ sound. Um, but either way, it's more this kind of smooth, electronic infused, kind of like R&B soul. Like it has a bit of that like synth R&B vibe, but it's also, you know, soulful singing again. Uh, really nice vocals, um, you know, I, in the moment, I don't know who that is, but uh, I await any comments in that regard. Um, and yeah, like, talking about, you know, there's imagery of things that are flashy, like Cadillacs and, you know, television antennas, which I suppose that's not flashy, like, you know, even in the 90s, that's sort of like, you could say maybe there's like a socioeconomic indicator there because by then you know people had like fiber optic you know like cable tv was already a thing by the 90s so um you know maybe a tv with antenna is there's like a you know that's not the newest thing that's more like for people who don't have as much but they still have a tv they still have you know something where they can entertain um, themselves or their children or so on so like it feels like it's more or less what it sounds like. You're saying that, yeah, maybe you don't have a Cadillac. Maybe, you know, you're not at the top of the ladder, so to speak. But at the end of the day, you know, there, there are people who have less. There are people who have nothing. So, you know, be thankful for what you've got and try to make the best of it. And that's not to say that you can't strive to get more of what you think is your fair share, given what you're putting into something. But at the same time, um, I think psycho-emotionally, uh, to say nothing of socially and interpersonally, um, adopting that mindset is a very healthy and uh, positive thing. So again, I support the sentiment of the song, I love the vocals of the song, I love the sonics of the tune. Just a great track, and indeed it does feel very much in what I'm beginning to understand as their wheelhouse, at least at this point in their career. I get it, like, you know, groups that are known for a certain sound, you know, fast forward a decade and they may be doing something different. So either way, uh, I'm loving this album and it's a unique blend of, again, sort of electronic synth, even trip hoppy sounds um, mixed with uh, soul. And indeed, I think Stefan was saying that's kind of like, that's the nexus that they're at. This sort of trip hop meets soul um, and, you know, kind of jazzy type of uh, sound. So, very much enjoying it. This was a top example. Uh, once again, shout out to Luca for being uh, an absolute uh, comatose pretzel cat. Let's see if we can casually convince her that it would be good to... There we go. See, and the chair's warm, I assure you, Luca, you are going to be happy that you um, had enjoyed this track with me. So, in any case, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.